the finals of the G8 competition. My name is Nana Dakoje. I'm your commentator together with my co-commentator, Sicho Fe. We're about to go. It's a big game we are about to witness. Dreams FC qualified in grand style. They played good. They scored a goal that was disallowed against Mediama last, last Thursday at this venue. But they were able to go through and then qualify. A crowd that were equally qualified on the penalty shoot at the Babayara Stadium. So it's interesting how these two teams have come into this competition from similar fortunes. Certainly, they've come into this competition with similar fortunes. At some point in the group stages, it looked like they were not likely to qualify, especially when Hartford played against a medium. After that poor performance, not too many people expected them to come this far. They went all the way to beat uh, the teams in their group. They beat the Busuan drafts here by three goals to two. Went to Kumasi to beat Kumasi and Sante Kotoko on penalties, and then they are here in the final today. The same for Dreams FC. After qualifying and being part of the Premier League that is going to be starting in a couple of weeks now, not too many people expected them to come this far. But here they are in the final against Accra Hearts of Folk. And so they are, they are not there because they are lucky. They were there because they deserve to be there. So it's a final that all of us are looking forward to. Big game here. You want to give the Ghana League Club? All the players will be very eager to tag that trophy and also get a hold of the medal. So it's a good way to start it. I, I give them the thumbs up for it. It's a wonderful organization if you look at the, the final guys. Here we are. We're bringing to you this live because game this afternoon. It's time for dignitaries to exchange pleasantries with the playing bodies of the two teams. Here we see the match commissioner Kwekweya introducing you know the dignitaries to the players and now we see Inu Samuta the captain of Accra Sabo he's got a turn to introduce his players to the dignitaries Aminu Musa, Samudin Ibrahim, Christopher Boni and Daniel Okodie. There we go. Akrofi is the last man to be introduced to the playing body and then we go. Big game, real big game and you know, the dignities have come in their numbers, unlike the previous game, and that's what you should be expecting in a final game like this. Exactly. So in the final, you, you get to see the dignities because they, they monitor the tournament until the final, where it's the biggest game of the competition. So all of them do come there. But I like the way the players are looking. They look like they're, they're, there's no tension on them. They are taking it very simple, all smiles, and they look very happy. They are out for the event. You don't see them looking very nervous. So it gives us a feeling that we're going to have a very, very good final today. But who can be very tricky. Dreams FC began, you know, on a false start. They lost their first game to Adriana Stars. Across the both equally won their first game against Karela FC. They lost their second game against Mediama Sporting Club, but they bounced back big time to beat Ebusuna Dwarf in the third group game to advance into the finals of this competition. And Dreams FC, they caught a big shocker in Kumase when they beat Kumase Asante Kotoko in the second group game. They followed up with another win against 11 Wonders. And they also won on penalties against Madiama. So I can imagine these two teams have gone through all the drills before this final. Well, so they've gone through that. And when you're playing in a tournament, a competition like this, it's about the mental strength because you can lose a game, you can draw a game, but it's about what you do in the next game after you've had a poor uh, result. And that is what they did for Karate Folk and for Dreams. All of them had poor results, but they went on to do the winning to get here. So here are the referees for the game. The center man is Isaka Afo, assisted on the lines by Raman Salifu and Akwesi Brobe. The fourth Prempe, and the match commissioner is Kwekoya. We've seen some. Pretty fair officiating in this competition, I guess. So far, so good by the officials. There, there, there were some decisions you would have thought that maybe they could have spotted, especially that goal that was scored by Adai for Dreams FC. But the match officials did not see it because the referee, center referee, was looking right across the center referee. Also, did not see it clearly. So it happens in the game. Where they want to play from and how they want to start the game. So Leonard Ousu and then. Inusa getting ready for the big kickoff here at the Cape Coast Sports Center. So here we have the final lineup. Ben Mensah in goalpost, Inusa Musa, 
Christopher Boni, Robert Addo, Richard Akrofi, Aminu Al Hassan, Daniel Cordier, Patrick Razak, Cosmo Zauda, Francis Morton, and then Samudin Ibrahim, the game changer. On the reserve bench for Accra Sabok, we have Richard Jackson, Malik Akowa, Reginald Thompson, Isaac Mensah, Nasiri Zakari, Alexander Kwasi, Hokombe Havudu. These are the guys. So this is the bench of Accra Hearts Sabok. They'll be watching the game from the bench and making sure. Bonnie. Looking for Razak. Razak Cromwell. Rafi whistles. No, the fans thought it, it should have been a foul for Patrick Razak. Well, last time Rafi was right on it. He saw exactly what happened then. So you see, as the ball comes to Patrick Razak, he's trying to use his pace to get around the defender, but it was just a coming together. The defender won the ball, jumped way up and above him to win the ball. He was just going for the ball. He had his eye on the ball. So, referee didn't see anything in that one. But unfortunately for Patrick Razak, there was some contact. He came off worse, but it's not a foul. Ghana 60 anniversary cup with Hearts of Oak, yet to win any major silverware with the Phobians. This is a huge boost for him ahead of the Ghana Premier League. He really will. And then he started very good. Even though he's not won anything yet, he's, he had a wonderful slam in the way in the mix to win the Premier League. But Adrian Stans and of course Wafa, we were better than them, they were more consistent. But they went all the way to the FA Cup final, unfortunately. A very bad first half cost them that final with the lost And here he is with his team again in the final of the G8. So he's not been bad with the current folk. I think that if he works with the players more he gets to bring in the players he wants, he might be heading into the right direction with the current folk. Atta. Throwing for Dreams. Maxwell Atta. Eric Gao. Back to Atta. Cromwell. Throwing for Dreams FC. Abdul Razak Cromwell throws one down, headed down by Inu Samusa, Daniel Kodier. James Yuafe, uh, he was looking for Sharani to do the run, but it was too weighty a pass for Sharani. Yes, Bonnie. He's lost possession. James Raffi for Dreams FC. Go play Raffi. Leonard Owusu is brought down. Raffi West player. Samudin Ibrahim. Switches one looking for Francis Morton. Morton does. Go play from Cosmo Zauda. Daniel Kodia tries to shoot from afar. Oh, stop! Daniel Kodia! Win! from Daniel Cordier. Amazing strike from